What's going on, you guys? It's me again, back on your tube. Um, it's been a while, you guys. I'm sorry about that, by the way. I've, my schedule changed at work, so I've been kind of busy recently. You know, I've been trying to find the time. By the by the way, have you seen time? I don't know where he is. Called him a bunch of times. Left messages. Don't know where he is. Looked in the closet. Looked outside. Don't know where he is. He's probably chilling with Waldo somewhere. But if you see time, tell him to get at me, cause uh, I need him so I can shoot some videos. All right. So that's that, you know, I got a lot of ideas on the way, they'll they'll come, eventually, you know what I'm saying, hopefully soon. But yeah, you guys, so um, aside from that, I've had a very serious encounter the past couple of weeks that I, I'm like, you know what, I need to jump in front of the screen and I need to tell you guys. So over the past several weeks, you know, I've just been chilling, you know, living life, you know, doing what I'm doing, walking, going everywhere, from place to place, just chilling, you know what I'm saying? So, and then this thing just bars into my life, doesn't even knock, just comes into my life, and just like, you know what? Take notice. I'm here and I'm not going anywhere, Chris. And it's like, whoa, all right, bro. I notice you. I notice you. And this thing's just all up in my grill. I'm like, yo, homie, I ain't George Foreman, so don't grill me. You know what I'm saying? And this thing's just not going away. And the serious encounter, this thing that I'm talking about, is nothing else than chafe. Um, a lot of people don't even really know what chafe is, even though a lot of people get it. You know what I'm saying? It's not just a cool word that can be used in such sentences as, hey, I logged into mychafe.com. Totally denied Sally's friend request. Dude, I'm in a high-speed chafe. I'll call you right back, bro. Only I know the combination to the chafe. So besides from just being a cool word to use in sentences, it's also a very serious flesh wound that habitates around the groin area code. So I think it ranks like number 14 on the top 10 most unimportant things that can ruin your life list. Something like that, I don't know. But anyway, it's when your thighs and your groin they rub together and they get as red and definitive as a Webster's Frictionary. Though it may start to show subtly, there are many signs to show that you have fallen victim to chafing. The first sign that I'll show you falling victim to chafing is you'll start to do the penguin walk. Daniel. Yeah. Do you know what happy feet is? Oh yeah, it's in that cabinet. The second sign to show that you have fallen victim to chafing is that while you're doing the penguin walk, you will do what I call protractor turns. Daniel! Yeah. Happy Feet wasn't in that cabinet. Oh yeah, it's in the other cabinet. The third sign to show that you have fallen victim to chafing is that you will really suck at hopscotch. So if you've ever experienced those things, or if you find yourself in the cowboy without a horse stance, you probably have chafe. There are ways to cure it, you know, always time of course, sleep, try and be off your feet as possible whenever you got that going on. Also diaper rash medicine, yeah that's right, I said diaper rash medicine, we're not babies but it helps, I'm telling you. That stuff you rub it on and it, it works pretty effectively. So yeah that's about it you guys, just wanted to let you know about my serious encounter with chafe. You know, it's it's honestly not fun. It was crazy, man. Just walking, and when it gets worse and worse, so you gotta right when you start feeling that, you gotta get off your feet if you're able to, you guys. But yeah, time, sleep, and diaper rash medicine cures it. But alright, you guys, those other videos will be coming soon. I promise. I thank you guys for your time, and I'll see you on my next video.